We have two kinds of teachers. On one hand, we have those teachers who are on the outside of our lives, and then we have the teachers or teacher within. Jesus said, I have said these things to you to keep you from stumbling. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, an hour is coming when those who kill you will think that by doing so they are offering worship to God. And they will do this because they have not known the Father or me. But I have said these things to you so that when their hour comes, you may remember that I told you about them. Jesus continues, I did not say these things to you from the beginning because I was with you, but now I am going to him who sent me. Yet none of you asks me, where are you going? But because I've said these things to you, sorrow has filled your hearts. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. It is to your advantage that I go away. For if I do not go away, the advocate will not come to you. But if I go, I will send him to you. Finally, Jesus says, I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own, but will speak whatever he hears, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me because he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. For this reason I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Jesus has sent the Spirit of Truth to live within you. In living within you, he is your teacher, your guide, your comforter, your encourager, and the one who reminds you of the things that Jesus taught and did. As the Spirit of Truth, he is the teacher within. Jesus has told his disciples, I have been your teacher on the outside. He knew that they had watched him, that they had walked with him, that they had heard him, that they had learned the things he said, but they were yet to put them into practice. They were yet to become teachers themselves who would communicate this good news that had been lived out in the body of Jesus. A good teacher at some point must come to the place where the student is trusted to go into the world and begin to practice what has been taught and preached. And that student begins to listen for the internal voice of the teacher and begins to process the information and it becomes more than information in their lives. It becomes a part of them. Jesus gives us more than memories. He gives us a person to indwell us, to live in us and with us, to walk beside us and to motivate us from the inside. His very spirit, the spirit of the living God, becomes the teacher inside of us. Not just reminding us, but opening our eyes to brand new truth every day that is applied truth. And Jesus says he doesn't originate it, but he takes what God gives and impresses it upon our hearts. As followers of Jesus, we have teachers on the outside and we have a teacher on the inside who works in the control room of our lives with our own mind and heart and our own spirit to help develop in us the life of Christ and unfold for us the wondrous 
mysteries of grace and mercy and truth and holiness and love and justice and peace.